my dishwasher is like really loud right now so i'm sorry if you can't hear me but i'm going to be making another hamster cage and some of you may know that i have hang on <laughs> I made a hamster cage in the past, but this time I'm using like Ikea stuff to make a hamster cage and I'll show you like exactly what I bought and how I'm going to be putting uh. it together. So for the glass sides of it, I'm, Who are you talking to? I'm making a video on how to uh. make a hamster cage. I bought the best, uh, I think uh. it's a glass shelf. It is 22 by 14 and an eighth inches. I have four of these Besta glass shelves. One Besta shelf 22 by 14 that is not glass. Two extra shelf of the Billy bookshelf. I have two of these and these are 30 by 10. So I'm going to be putting two of these together to make the base and the base is going to be 30 by 20 and then the extra best shelf that's wood we're going to be cutting to hold the glass sides together i'll show you the schematics but right now i'm going to be getting these out of the packaging and gluing them and then i have these really big clamps that i'm going to be holding them together while i use this wood glue and hopefully they stick so let me get them unwrapped and i'll be back okay so these shelves have a finished side and an unfinished side so my plan and they also have holes of where they would be put onto the shelf so my plan is to put the holes on the bottom and then attach both of the unfinished sides so it will look like this this is unfinished and that's unfinished and I'm just gonna glue these two together and that's gonna be my base. So, they're doing construction outside so that's what all of that is. The glue says to clamp it for 30 minutes, but for best to like let it dry overnight. So I'm probably just gonna let it sit here in our Christmas room overnight because no one even goes in here. So, okay, we have that. And then I'm also going to mark this wood as to where I need it. And I can show you the schematics and the plans that I have for this whole thing because I'm sure it makes zero sense right now. Okay, I tried to color coordinate everything to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So these are the pieces that I got. I got two of the Billy extra shelves in white. I got one of the best, uh, I think it's an extra shelf in white. And then this is the best of glass. These are the same size. And the best of wood, the white wood, I'm going to be cutting uh, four, four by 14 and a quarter inch strips and then I'm going to be left with a two inch strip and this is like basically what I'm doing so these green ones are these right here and this is going to be the base of it these orange ones are the glass and then the blue are the wood strips so the glass is exactly like how long this is and it will overlap the wood so the sides will be full glass and then the front and the back will just have a four inch strip of wood on each side of the glass and i think i'm just going to connect everything with silicone but i tried to draw like a 3d model and this is like kind of what it looks like it's not that good but yeah so this is the plan and i'm going to go ahead and draw out the four inch things so we can just cut those and then that should be it and I can just assemble everything dad to cut that 
Festa wood shelf. And I did my calculations wrong because four times four is 16, not 20. So that means I have five big planks of four inches across and the two incher. So in my mind, I'm going to use these ones that are just plain because I have one that has the holes and I don't want to use that one so that one's going to be scrap along with the two inch and then I have four perfect weight boards and he actually cut in a straight line this time. I'm very happy and pleased with that. So I'm going to clean off all the sawdust and make sure this edges are smooth and then I think I'm actually going to paint the rough edges while this dries for a couple more hours and then I guess I can attach everything with silicone. So let's get painting. It says that it is non-toxic right underneath that seal. So this is what I'm going to be using for the sides. And then I found this little sponge brush with my other brushes. And then for the base, once it dries, I'm going to put some contact paper that I have left over from Mako's cage on it, just so it's like easier to clean and then the bedding and the pee and stuff doesn't get stuck in the crack or anything. So. two things of painter tape on the top and the bottom of all of the wooden things to hold these glass pieces into place once I put the silicone on. So let's try this. Also, these aren't dry, I'm just impatient. The cage is done. <laughs> I like totally forgot to film everything else, but I made uh, the lid out of like metal wire and then I stapled it to wood, which I glued. And then I also used these L brackets and then I have uh, silicone, what the heck are these called? Like silicone little tabs. So when it closes on the glass, it doesn't hurt it. And then I think you saw this whole part. You just didn't see this. And then I also got this in the mail today, a little chamber high, little cubby and the night angel wheel. And then I'm going to be putting bedding and stuff and I bought this at PetSmart and we had these two things. Ignore my bed. I just got a whole bunch of laundry. So 
This is going to be your little sister's cage. Are you excited? You're going to get a sister tomorrow. He's like, I do not care about another hamster. Give me food. Okay, this is the finished cage. I might get some more bendy bridges and stuff. Um, I'm not sure, but I have the chamber hide, which has the water bottle um, attached, and then the food bowl. We have some chews. This is the coconut hut, and the uh, ooh, stone. And then I got the wood house, the little log cabin, the uh, wheel. Hopefully it's high enough. It, I think it should be. And yeah, just like some random pieces of wood and stuff. Um, nothing too special. I think I will buy some more stuff um, when I'm at the store getting her. So this is what it looks like. With the top down, there's glass on all the sides. So, yeah, I'm actually really happy with this. And I think the hamster is going to love it. Um, I mean, I really love it. I also put this on wheels so it can move all over the house. But I think this is going to be where it's going to sit at the bottom of my bed. Okay. So, she's in here. <laughs> it's the next day. Here she is. If you can see her. Poke your head out, baby. Hi. Meet Poppy. Look at how cute she is. Here you are, that sweet little girl. I know you're tired, huh? Here you go. 